we look a little bit at the white label that comes with Bloxy Pro and I'll spend a minute or two for those who have no idea what a white label is, just to explain quickly to you what you can expect from a white label. First of all, welcome here to Websites for Beginners. I am JP and as always, thanks for supporting this channel. Now, you can follow the other videos here and have a look at Bloxy, in my opinion, one of the best free and now pro themes for WordPress in 2020. And I'm going to put my money down and say also for 2021. And in fact, I think Bloxy did so much in 2020 that I'm seeing other very popular and famous themes starting to copy what Bloxy has been doing. And that's the story of success. White label means that you basically sell Bloxy as a theme to your customers as if it's your own. So you remove anything that is related to Bloxy. And here I have my website. If I go into the WordPress dashboard, you're going to see around four places where you're going to see references to Bloxy. The first one is this label here in the sidebar on the left that says Bloxy. And if I click on it, it will take me to the Bloxy dashboard. And the next area you're going to see Bloxy is here. If we move over to appearance and themes, naturally you're going to see here the Bloxy theme. And then going to plugins, the Bloxy Companion, you're going to see here it says buy creative themes and of course Bloxy Companion. And with a white label, you are giving your clients access to the back end if they want to do updates, especially if it's a blogging site. But you don't want to let them know that you've been using Bloxy. You kind of want to let them think you are the mastermind behind all of that. And that is why the white label is a premium extension within Bloxy and most other plugins, because you are basically telling the developer, hey, can I buy your product and sell it as my own? And for that, you have to pay a premium price. But it's not that big. If you look at the Bloxy premium pricing, follow the link in the description below. So how do we set this up? Go to the sidebar on the left, go to Bloxy, and we go to the Bloxy dashboard. And then from the dashboard, select your extensions. There are two areas, free and pro extension. And as I mentioned, this is not a free extension. Click on pro extension and then scroll to the bottom where you see white label. First thing you need to do is just simply activate it. And once it's activated, you will find the configure button over here. Let's go to configure and see what we've got here. Agency details, theme details, and plugin details. Let's start with agency details, agency name. I'll call this Joe Pine. Let's say this is my agency. And then for the website, I'll just put in their website for beginners, which is w4b.io. And then if you have a contact or support form for the URL, if people can contact you with that, you can use that. In this case, I'm just going to copy this one and paste it there. So what has happened? Let's say save settings. And then just give it a moment to refresh. From here, you will notice Bloxy still says Bloxy there and Bloxy still says Bloxy there. So what has changed? Go to plugins, install plugins. And then here where you see Bloxy companion, it now says Joe Pine. And when people click on this, it will take you to the websites for beginners website. So this is the agency part that we have changed now and you've set it up for your business. Let's go look at the next part, which is related to the theme. And for the theme, let's go extensions. Pro extensions and click again on configure to continue on the theme. You will also need a thumbnail for your theme. Call it Joe Pine theme and then a little theme description here. My theme is awesome. And then the screenshot. Now that screenshot is the image that will appear when people go to appearance and themes. And it says here a good dimension and resolution will be 1,200 pixels by 900 pixels. And I already have one for that. So I'm going to choose my file under my media library. And I just grab one for Joe Pine over here. And I select that. Scroll down to make sure you've got everything because you see here theme icon URL. So I'll choose file and I'll have an icon there, 24 by 24 pixels. That's big enough. You see it says here 18 by 18 minimum. And then let's save that and see how that's going to affect our theme. A few things have updated. First up, all here at the top, you will now see instead of Bloxy, it says Joan Pine theme. And here in the sidebar, you're going to see Joe Pine theme. So this is where the theme has made updates. Also note that my little icon appears over there. If you go to appearance and themes, same situation here, 
instead of the Bloxy screenshot, you are seeing the Joe Pine theme and all hints and traces to Bloxy have been removed. But not entirely, because the last one, if you go to plugins, as you will see, it still says Bloxy Companion. And that's the last step. Let's go to Joe Pine theme now, which is, of course, Bloxy. Extensions. Pro Extensions, and we configure it again. And then this time, Plugin Details. Plugin name, Joe Awesome Pine. Plugin Description. Uh, a great plugin. And then under that, we have plugin screenshot URL. And you're going to see it already takes the URL from the theme. And you just leave that and save settings. Now, if we go again under plugins, just give it a moment to refresh. Plugins, install plugins. You will see now instead of the Bloxy Companion, it says Joe Awesome Pine. Please remember, my name is not Joe Pine. But then comes the question, I've made these changes, but if any of my customers were to go into the dashboard of my new dashboard and they go to extensions, they're clearly going to notice that, in fact, there is an extension for white label under Pro Extensions, and they're going to know I'm not as awesome as I claim to be. And for that, you can disable this area so that no one can mess with it or even know about it. Click on Configure and hop over to Advance. And don't let Advance scare you. It's not advanced at all. What happens here is that now you hide all these options so that people cannot mess around with this. So I'm going to just deselect them or rather select them all. And what is very important is that when I say save settings, this white label area is going to disappear. But what if you need to come back later and make changes to it? And for that, there's a shortcut. Remember this one over here, Shift. And I'll show you how to use that. Let's click on Save Settings. And then give it time to refresh. Extensions, Pro Extensions, scroll down. And the white label, no more. How do I bring that back? And that is where the Shift key comes into play. Scroll to the top and here where your theme name is, in this case, Joe Pine Theme, Hold Shift on your keyboard and just click on it. And now, when you scroll down, you're going to see White Label is back. You didn't even see it appear, it just was so quickly. And that is the White Label from Bloxy. To revert back, to get everything back to Bloxy, you just go to your extension, the White Label, and you go ahead and you delete all of these that you've entered. Let's delete that as well. Make sure also for the last one. Okay, and plugin details, same. Delete. And a great plugin, delete. Save the settings. Give it some time to refresh, and we are back to Bloxy. Bloxy Pro, the way to go. Naturally, for more videos on Bloxy and how to use Bloxy, make sure you subscribe to the channel here with Websites for Beginners. Visit us at w4b.io. Thanks for the support.